Okay, it's not uneven. It just looks weird to me. Whatever. Let's get our services set up. So, we first want to start with water. Uh, water is really, really important. It is actually cheaper in the long run to go for one of these little pumping stations here. So that's what we'll do. And we want to place these upstream as possible. Because later, when we start dumping our sewage just raw into the water, uh, we don't want to suck that back up and, and make our city sick. Uh, so we'll run our piping for those. And the pipes go under the roads where pipes belong. So you can see that kind of gives us our coverage there. And then we can come out along this side. like that I'm just kind of extend that down because we'll need it later so we have a, a, a nice little bit of coverage here we have a lot of demand for residential so let's get some of that plopped down just like that I actually I don't like that because uh, we'll have to use eminent domain later to kind of take that over for our collector roads so let's actually just delete that there that there and that there and then we will pay 10. We'll do, even though we don't have a lot of demand for it yet, we'll do a couple blocks of commercial zoning because we will very quickly have demand for that as people start to move in. And we'll zone some residential as well. Uh, let's also get some electricity going. It's gonna be pretty important later on. Now, I always like to put my industrial off to one side of the city. It keeps it away from all the pollution and all that uh, you know, nasty stuff that the residents don't really like. And then later on, we can put like some office zones in here as a nice buffer from the pollution and the noise pollution and stuff like that. So, uh, but a uh, cool thing that uh, you can do here is if you run your electric lines, your houses will start developing right there so that they will carry the electricity across to the rest of the city. And I'm gonna pause just very quickly because I do realize that I forgot to uh, run water to the coal power plant. It's gonna be kind of important. So you can see they'll start to move in. Uh, they'll start to build their little houses and that's high scaffolding for that little bitty house. But hey man, you do you, I guess. Damn. But yeah, you can kind of click on them for more information. You'll see nobody really lives here yet because it's still under construction. Same with this one. But if we speed up time just a little, you'll see our residential demand has not really gone down at all. That's because we're brand new. Everybody wants to be here. So we'll extend this out like 20 units, I think. Uh, I, I think. And then we'll uh, we'll continue to make blocks. I like to keep my, uh, my commercial right off the main stretch of the highway. See, we're in a serious deficit right now. We're losing $1,175 a week. How's it going, Pennywise? Just chilling out tonight, doing a pretty light little stream. Uh... I streamed a little Black Ops 3 Zombies earlier, but I wanted to play City Skylines and felt that, you know, why not stream it while I'm at it. So, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, we'll just run our water pipes down this road here, because that's where they belong. They belong under the roads. And you see that gives us coverage for everything that we've built so far. And that's going to allow for a little bit of future expansion as well. Now you'll notice I put my residential back off to the the back end here. Uh, hey man, that's good to hear. It's always good when, you, when you've had a good day. Uh, that's because I want to zone commercial right here. Along the busy roads. Now the reason that you want to zone commercial along the busy roads is because that's how they get their income. Uh, that way they don't, they don't get abandoned or anything like that. So we'll, we'll kind of speed time up just a little bit as you can see we, we've zoned enough commercial that our demand is kind of going to be uh quenched for a little bit but we are going to need to expand our residential even more i'm going to refrain from expanding to the east here or the west depending on which way you look at it there's really no compass rows that i know of but i'm going to refrain we'll call this the east we'll call this the west and we'll call this north and south right i'm going to ex uh, refrain from expanding to the east just due to the fact that we are kind of already setting up a spot for our industry over there and we want to keep the people away from pollution or or they do get they do get sick and they do get unhappy so we will expand residential more towards this direction we'll, we'll do some uneven sized blocks in here 
just just for a little bit of variety. And we'll uh we'll just bosh down some residential there. And of course, make sure you uh extend your water piping. Pipes go under the roads where they belong. And this will this will continue to expand indefinitely, and then we'll figure out something with our traffic situation later because we already know it's gonna get bad. So but yeah. See, uh, so industries such as this one will actually generate traffic. So this little guy oh. is an ore truck, and what he's doing is bringing coal to the coal power plant so that it can maintain operation. A blackout again? What do you mean? What do you mean a blackout again? We have plenty of electricity, I can assure you. Oh my god. Okay, so I have made a horrendous and terrible mistake. Oh, I love this game, man. I fucking love this game. Uh, there's so much that you can actually control. Like, you can go through the budgets and the policies for the city and all that. So, uh, back very quickly to my horrendous mistake. As you can see, I have zero power for any of my, my water treatment facilities. Um, so my sewage and my fresh drinking water just don't exist uh, due to the fact that there's no power. Um, so let's get those running as quickly as possible. There we go. And then we should be good for... Um, yeah, there we go. Now we have water availability. Excellent. So these little guys here, now they have their, their water, they have their electricity. They're still not very happy, but I don't blame them. I'd be mad too if I didn't have water or sewage. Oh, yes, of course. So our little info views here. You see, here's our happiness. Uh, these guys, the commercials are really, really happy. They do produce a lot of noise pollution, though, so these residential buildings around them don't really like them very much. But, I mean, they moved in there. They'll live with it. Uh, water coverage, electrical coverage, wind. It's for, like, your wind turbines. You plop wind turbines down in the darker parts, and you'll make more uh, electricity from them. Traffic. This is going to be a very integral part of the game later on uh, as we start to expand more and more and gain more and more population. We're already at 339 and we're gaining about 20 a week. As we gain more and more population, traffic is going to become a bigger and bigger issue. And it actually may start to become a bigger and bigger issue now that I'm about to put some industry over here on the east side of the city. Industry is going to do a couple things for us. It's going to make us some good money and it's also going to bring us a fairly large amount of pollution and traffic. So we want to be prepared to deal with both of those things. Now this pollution will likely reach over just a little bit into this zone here. You'll see it. It kind of looks like a nuclear wasteland. But good news about that. When this all develops, we can actually move these uh, power lines back just a little bit because the buildings themselves do carry electricity. See? Now we can actually get rid of these power lines to save ourselves some money on upkeep costs and things like that. And we can move these back to like there. And then we won't have to touch those again for a while. Oh yeah, industry is popping right up. They were very, very excited to move in. So yes, you can also make uh, buildings historical if you like the appearance of a certain building or whatnot. Um, Let's say I really, really like this building right here for, you know, whatever reason. Even if it upgrades, if I if I well educate my citizens and all of that, the buildings will upgrade to higher and higher tiers. You can kind of see that here. I can tick that down as a historical building and it will never change the look of itself. So I think I'll do that because eventually when this is like a, a sort of bustling downtown area with high rises everywhere, you'll have this one little suburban household right in the middle. And uh, it, it'll tell a story, man. It's, it's like somebody who just didn't want to sell their house. They didn't want to give in to the, uh, the machine, if you will. And, you know, just stuck it out. The city probably tried to offer him a lot of money to, uh, to sell, and I just fucked that up. Probably tried to offer him a lot of money to sell, and uh, he just didn't want to do it. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually expanding the... Uh, because you can see we still have a lot of industrial uh, demand. So we're going to expand this out some. And I actually do like to leave a little two spaces of room here so that we don't have to destroy any buildings later. Because they do not like that at all when you have to do that. 
this one's gonna have to go, but that's all right. Uh, it just got built. They're not gonna be too upset. Let's make sure that we have water here. Yeah, let's just run this bad boy down, and I'll actually connect it back up. Okay, too steep an angle. Cool. Connect it back up just like that. It's looking great so far. Uh, nice little grid city, but uh, we can make it a little more diverse as we as we start to grow. Now, I think looking at these intersections and and kind of how sketchy they are, that it's it's almost time to bust out traffic manager and uh, start to add some stop signs. When you have a small enough population, it doesn't really matter, but it is important to have. at least something here here we go i was looking sorry i was looking for the stop signs there we go i think i'll actually do yield signs so i believe i can control and shift click and make this a priority road perfect and this one as well so now they will have to yield before uh going onto these roads here which is good i mean it, it'll it'll stop crashes it'll stop accidents it'll stop stuff like that so um I'm actually going to adjust this one here uh, with my junction tool and I want to make sure that these guys do not stop and they just go they just freely go because we do not want anybody stopping on the highway that would be very bad news so that's what this little indicator here for uh, we want to make sure that they can freely go on both sides of our main road not that one. We do not want them to be merging all over the place, but we do want them. Hey, we do want them to to freely go and not slow down because they are being yielded to. And I cannot understand for the life of me why this particular uh, mod does not add that in when you when you shift click and make it a priority road. But now you can see these guys on this main road. They'll just keep going. They will not yield at these intersections. The only guys yielding at the intersections are these little fellows on the side roads coming in. So it's it really does help with traffic flow in the long run, and it's a good thing to do. Uh, we can also look at these little intersections. I'm not seeing too, too much traffic on these little side local roads yet. We will at some point upgrade these to an arterial and likely um, a roundabout there. Because this is going to start generating a lot of traffic very quickly here, uh, seeing as it's a large, uh, large swath of industry. So, we'll definitely. I might throw a roundabout in now, as a matter of fact. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. Uh, I don't know. Here we go. Small roundabout. It may be easier to make one myself. Oh, I have not planned ahead at all. Yes, this could be a small issue, but have no fear. I, I will be damned. It will be the last thing I do if I make a roundabout. Let's see, here we go. Um, how do we kind of want to... Why won't you go there? I need to turn on fine road anarchy. That's what I need to do. I'm going to leave it paused for just a moment while I figure out my life. All of these wonderful things here. And I should be able to, right in the dead center of that, drag out. How many units is this? This is six units, so we want to drag out three on either side. It's going to be a fairly small roundabout, but just bear with me. Um, it'll be great. And it's dirt, so, you know, big bonus. Hey, come on. Come on. And then we can actually add our entries. Oh no. Okay. Um. Uh -huh. All right. So, Plan B. Yeah, Fine Road Anarchy would have been a great mod to include in this list, but you know we're still playing somewhat vanilla, so won't let it. Man. Alright, we can at least do this here. Those two will kind of merge into the roundabout. This will eventually become two four-lane roads. These will all become two-lane roads running across, and then you'll have your 
middle two lane or this may even become one six lane road down the center here and then four lane roads and then two lane roads coming off you want to make sure you maintain your roadway hierarchy have this guy go over here and then we'll, we'll leave another one there just as a kind of a dummy like a we might need it later you know placeholder perfect and i should have kept those i'm going to keep these until i get this roadway here connected because i'm not sure how i'm going to do that yet um oh yeah that looks absolutely dreadful okay this is horrible and i would hate to have to drive on this road but it is it is a roundabout and it's probably not that bad let's fix our traffic on this roundabout uh, i believe it is could be this one here boom priority road everybody else gives way perfect unless maybe there isn't a, a specific option for a roundabout somewhere in here i'm not certain i do not care enough it's not a problem yet it, we will deal with that problem when it becomes a problem <laughs> so you can see the cars are traveling on the roundabout they're doing their thing oh it is a two-lane roundabout that's gross yeah that's gross i don't like that it's two lanes uh let me make it one lane okay there we go is that the right direction that is the wrong direction for roundabout yep yeah, you merge in, and you're going right. Perfect. That could be a very dangerous um, dangerous kind of deal there, but hey, man, it's not my problem. That's their problem. They'll figure it out. Beautiful. We're starting to make a little bit of money, which is always a good thing. Uh, but we are going to need to rather rapidly expand our residential once again. So we'll come on out this way, another, we'll, we'll start with 10, and then just kind of head over 14, give us another city block. I think I'm actually going to make these two one lane, uh, I'm sorry, one way, two lane roads. That's the wrong way around the roundabout, how you mean? Traffic's on the right hand side, roundabout flows to the right, oh yeah, no, 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 you are correct, you are correct. Wait. Hold on, now I have to think. I d I've never driven on a roundabout. No, you're right, you're right. Because you would go on the roundabout, and then you would go clockwise, yes? No, because you go on, and then you actually go... No, you go counterclockwise. I had it right, you're, you're fucking with me, man. Yeah, because there's a roundabout near me, um... No, it goes counterclockwise. Well, unless you're in the UK or something, but on, when your traffic is on the right-hand side of the road, it goes counterclockwise. Yeah. Over here goes clockwise. Well, yeah, you probably have left-hand drive traffic. I mean, left-hand drive traffic would use a, a clockwise roundabout for certain, but uh, here in the here in the states, they are counterclockwise. Little Hamlet. I don't know why that's fucked up. But all right, now we've unlocked schools, we've unlocked a fire department. Let's get this stuff boshed in here. We definitely want our fire department so we can actually choose... I'll say I want it right here on the main stretch, but I don't want it facing the main stretch. The reason for that is here, it can go across, it can get wherever it needs to as quickly as possible. Uh, that's actually healthcare. But that's fine. And then public libraries are actually going to... Okay, I do not have a public library yet, but I do have an elementary school. That's going to allow us to educate our citizens, which is going to be uh, quite important. Education of your citizens will allow you to uh, upgrade certain buildings and higher paying jobs. You'll make more money in general. It's always a good thing. Because currently, all of our citizens are uneducated and that's just not a good look, man. It's just not a good look at all. So, what was I doing? I needed to expand residential. Um, 
and now more so, and it, it is increasing demand quite quickly. So I'll just leave you know, a couple blocks like that. I think we'll zone some uh, some commercial in there as well. Just little little blocks of commercial, nothing too crazy. But we definitely want some more residential, and that's not going to be enough. But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. See this guy over here? They're looking for workers, which. Uh, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. That means we're not making money from them. But uh, just checking all my pipelines. Looks like looks like all my citizens do have water. It's a good, good thing. Very, very good thing. Everybody's moving in. Everybody's building their houses. All nice. I'm gonna drink of water real quick. But we're making uh, we're making 260 bucks a week, which. You know, it's not a lot, but it'll get there, man. It'll get there. As soon as we are able to adjust our taxes, it'll get there. That water is freezing cold. I have a, uh, uh, it's like a Yeti, Yeti tumbler. Um, but it's got like the cap on top, so it stays super cold all day. It's great stuff. You see the uh, nice smoggy air of our resi or our industrial area here. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the haze, the sun through the haze. But yeah, this guy is now going to work. Uh, going to work. There's trucks that are coming to deliver things here. It's just a, a beautiful, beautiful sight. Whenever there's traffic, there is economic development and growth, and that's always a good thing to see. Yeah, look guys, our little city of New Brighton is becoming a, a bigger town now. So I say we expand residential a little bit more, and then we start worrying about our budgeting, because we are in dire need of some more money. We're not making enough from our citizens right now, and as much as I hate them, unfortunately taxes do make the world go round, so we're going to have to bump those up a little bit. Let's see. We're going to bump these up to 12%. It should give us more money, but it shouldn't make them too angry. 12% is kind of the magic number. But you can see, we can actually balance our entire budget here. Uh, we have our expenses. So this is what we're spending on roads. This is what we're spending on healthcare, libraries, uh, electricity, water. We're, we're basically $1,900 a week that we're spending. And we're making $2,600 a week, so we have a nice, well, roughly $755 a week uh, weekly income. Which is now going to go up slightly because of the increased taxes and the more residents moving in. Let's make sure they all have water just quickly before I forget and they go hungry and thirsty. We still have quite a bit of residential demand, but I'm going to speed up time and just let them settle in and see how far that that kind of goes down. And you can see our weekly income is skyrocketing. We're actually making money now. So, what should we give them next? We have not really unlocked too, too many amenities for them to have. Uh, inland water treatment plant, we do have that, but we don't treat our water, see? We... We dump it right out into the ocean, where it belongs. I believe if we look at our pollution graph, you can definitely see that we are just muddying the water with poo. Which is really bad for the environment, but... <laughs> you know, we don't care. We're not a green city here. We, uh, we don't care about those fish, or, or any animals in that, in that creek. Ah, we have trash. So what we need to do now is give them a waste treatment plant or a landfill. And we will give them a landfill. And we'll put it right here at the end of the road. And then we'll just kind of make the road go around it. Um, I'd rather if I can just place one unit there and just squeeze right on by it. it would be wonderful. Nope, two units it is. All right. I'm actually going to give room for another one. So, two units. And we'll drop this out like 20. And then bring it back in. Now we have room for one more landfill that we'll be able to put there 
uh, eventually. And that'll give us some nice space. So, Echo Zodiac, how's it going, man? How's it going? I'm glad you could make it. I am. I'm very glad you could make it. Thank you for the first time, chat. I appreciate it. I hope you're kind of enjoying the commentary and the gameplay a little bit. And I, I also hope that you can get that nap in. But you can see our, our little garbage trucks here. They're now hauling ass, going around, picking up all the garbage because we have completely neglected the needs of our residents. And, uh, just look at them go. Oh yeah, man, that's a super chill game. I love it. I love this game to just kind of relax and de-stress after a long day. Uh, it, it does get a little stressful if you don't balance the budget right, though, I will say. Uh, if you don't balance your budget and you start, you know, just hemorrhaging money, then it gets a little upsetting. But beyond that, man, it's a super chill game, super chill gameplay. It's just a, a nice one to play after a long day. Alright, so see, we, we're starting to have a traffic issue, and this is one of many. So, let's see what we can do about fixing this. Let's kind of see where it starts. So it's kind of stemming from this roundabout here. It doesn't appear that they're really yielding like they're supposed to. They look like they're coming to a full stop. Oh no, I see the problem. We have a lot of pedestrians that are crossing the roundabout that are holding people up. So we need to give them some sort of pedestrian walk around. And I have not unlocked any of them yet. Okay, that's unfortunate. So the traffic stays for now. Uh, I will give them, though, a slip lane so that our industrial traffic is not taking up a roundabout that our residential traffic can use. Hey, what are you doing? You are obviously... Oh no, you are delivering within the city. That's odd. But, uh, I digress. So these guys will generate traffic. The commercial buildings along the main strip will also generate traffic. Sometimes these guys will generate trips from themselves to the ones in the city and that'll actually save us money because we're using goods that we manufacture ourselves and that will actually increase our, our income per week as well. But uh, an even better way to do that is fulfill the massive and overwhelming residential demand that we have right now. So I've got a little bit of cash to play with. I don't want to do anything too funky yet, but I will, I will just go like 50 by 30 units and then fill this in long ways just like such and that gives us a nice even grid that we can kind of paint some residential into now traffic is going to get wild here in about 15 20 minutes and we're going to need to deal with that but we're not there yet so we're just going to keep doing what we're doing let's start uh out here and just kind of extend our water lines out and we should be able to do this one as well and get a nice even coverage uh, i really want to really want to cover this too but i don't think i placed any residential there nope future expansion so we will cover that when we get to it as well these guys are just going to start building uh we, we only have 825 people so the dirt roads are still fine uh you can see they're not super overwhelmed uh at least inside the city here off the highway though it doesn't look like they're using my slip lane like they should so i don't know maybe we reconnect that that looks sort of like a penis uh now that i look at it that's kind of funny um completely unintentional phallic object <laughs> in the stream <laughs> Uh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. It always happens. I, I inevitably draw a dick in city skylines every every time. So They're kind of cutting across here. They're using the slip lane like they should now. This tractor is going to... Where are you going, little buddy? Why would you not take the far easier and more superior slip lane to go in that direction? Now we're just causing a ton of traffic. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Uh, we need to focus on our... Okay, we've reached Worthy Village. I really don't understand why that's glitched out like that. I'm definitely not at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 population. I am at 900 population, so... We, we've unlocked a couple of things. We've got districts, we've got policies, we've got second loan. 
which we may have to take, honestly, at, at this rate. And that music is just loud. I don't know what the deal is. I'm actually going to turn that down just a little bit. Um, oh, and now it goes off, so I can't focus on it and turn it down. There we go. That should help just a little bit. Perfect. So, we are... Where are we at now? So we have residential demand, but we have plenty of residential here. We have commercial demand, and we can actually fulfill that pretty easily by extending this guy out. Our, our sort of main road here. Blocking off the back end of it like such. And we can actually fill uh, right right along this main road here with, uh, with commercial. And they'll start building right away. I mean, look at them. They are already building, building away. They have water, they have electricity, they have everything they could ever need, and they have a lot of traffic on this road here, this main road, which is perfect for them. So they're gonna they're gonna pop right up. They're gonna start making money. They're gonna start selling their goods. They're gonna start paying me more taxes. That's what I really want. And while they do that, we're actually gonna pop in a fire station. We may actually have to do a couple. How much money do I have? $36,000. This is $12,000. And I want to make sure I have good coverage for all of my city. So we'll do this side and this side. And then for police... Ooh, we, we definitely want to have good police coverage because crime can be very bad in a city. And we don't want any of that. This looks like a good central location. Everybody seems really happy. So that works for me. And, and that's just temporary. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not made of money right now. So we will see how that does for us. Would it help to not have the roundabout there at the entrance of the city? You know, it actually would, uh, it would not help. So the way the traffic works in this game is just a little bit weird. And, uh, if you just do like straight, uh, straight roads with intersections coming off of them, they will all stop at the intersections, even if you set them to yield or, or anything like that. And the roundabouts do help with traffic. You can get about 280 cars a minute through the roundabout. You can get about, I think it's like 110 a minute through an intersection. Either way, uh, the roundabouts are slightly more efficient, but this, the way they are connected right now is definitely not the most efficient. So I might just scrap this roundabout in general and, and when I go to upgrade these roads in here, I might just scrap this roundabout and think of a better way to to kind of uh, bring traffic into the city and distribute them around to everywhere that they need to go. Like over in our industry, because they're generating a lot of trips. And over in our commercial areas, because they're generating a lot of trips. And then, of course, over to our residential, because this is where the majority of people are trying to get at the end of the day and all that. So... Yeah, let's kind of focus on some more industrial right now. As you can see down here, um, our demands. We want some more industrial. Uh, we we kind of want some commercial, and we don't really want residential right now. So let's get us some more dirt roads, and I've left this open for expansion here, so we'll do that. Kind of expand how... I don't know why that guy's unhappy. Uh, they're usually unhappy because roads just generate noise, but it's a commercial zone, and they're very noisy. Now, I have just made a, an error of some sort and deleted... Oh, I'm out of money. That's fine. That's fine. Um, it's, it's really not, but it, it'll be fine. Uh, if I cannot get this reconnected because I'm broke, that would be a big issue. But let's see if we can see if we can get it done. I may have to take a loan. Four hundred and forty dollars, and I have one hundred and fifty-nine. Can you go a week without power and water, ladies and gentlemen? Please, please, please go a week without power. Please, no water for you, just for a week. Perfect. All right. Look, you didn't even you didn't even notice. Great people, great people. All right, let's give you some more industrial because that's what you're really wanting right now. Just kind of fill all that in. We'll actually fill in around this landfill here. Because that landfill should be fine until we reach a population of like 3,000. Then we'll need another one. But it's looking good, man. It's looking good. I mean, we have this toxic nuclear wasteland of our, our industrial areas. And 
our factory zones and you know the smog it kind of blows this way into the city and the residents all really enjoy it and it's part of it man it's part of it i mean if we back up to the water here just look at that skyline it's not much of a skyline but you know it's beautiful nonetheless we've created this ladies and gentlemen we have created this from scratch this is the home to 12 1300 people and they all seem to be very happy, except for when they don't have water. Let's get that taken care of quickly before they start leaving. Last thing you want to do is have them start leaving. There we go. And now we just kind of wait a little bit for our money to, to build. And then we can start, you know, expanding the city a little more. Uh, you see our residential demand is growing again. And we have a fire. That is now gone. Excellent, excellent. The fire department did an amazing job with that one. They got that fire taken care of right away. I think we'll actually connect some of these roads here so there's not just one way in and out. That's creating a little bit of a bottleneck here and it's creating a lot of traffic. So if we come down to like this part here and connect that, just like such, it's actually going to help alleviate some of the traffic. And then if we could do one of these numbers here, just for like aesthetic purposes you would have your garbage trucks also be able to act oh look perfect see oh that's a box truck but your garbage trucks would also be able to access the city just a little bit easier get to the places where they need to get and why are we having power issues not enough electricity so as you can see it gets pretty wild when you speed up time uh, things like to advance very quickly but now we are consuming 43 megawatts of electricity, and we are only producing 40. So, if we do a wind turbine, that can give us roughly 7 or 8 megawatts. If we do another coal power plant, that can give us 40 more megawatts, but we don't have the money for that right now. Or we could come down here and take a loan. We could take a loan for $20,000, we could take a loan for $60,000, and it would cost us $400 a week and $250 a week, respectively. We would be paying this off a hell of a lot longer, though, at 260 weeks, and this one we could pay off in a year. So, hmm. I am thinking that we take... I'm thinking we, we make a terrible financial decision, take the bigger loan with our 10% interest rate, build our power plant, and then proceed with developing the city uh, as we were. We will deal with the loan later. I'll probably forget about it in 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll just plop that bad boy down there, and he should have water. Perfect. And now, as you can see, our electricity demand is perfect like we have we have so much electricity we're producing a surplus we could probably sell it to a neighboring city for some money but yeah you can see man we got people we got people all over the place we got little cars they're out there doing their things like this jeep olivia lee owns this jeep olivia lee is currently at where's she at where's she at Olivia Lee is here. Olivia Lee is at the convenience store. She walked what had to have been the equivalent of like two miles across town to get to this convenience store. Olivia is a trooper, man. Olivia just walked like two and a half miles to get to a convenience store that doesn't sell anything good. So, let's see. What do we need now? We need a lot of residential. So let's get our roads out, and let's get back to it. We're just going to fill the rest of this in with residential. We have the money to. We can go ahead and expand. And you'll notice I'm not really, uh, I'm not really doing this any sort of way. Uh, I'm just kind of letting it grow. I, granted, it is still very much a grid. And I'm not a fan of grids. But grids are great for fast development and quick expansion. And that's what we're trying to get done here. So, this little guy here, this one comes down. We get coverage for all of these interior squares, which is exactly what we want. Most efficient way and cheapest way. We also have some commercial uh, commercial demand, so we'll actually zone the back side of this. And this will act as a little buffer for our... I'm going to 
D-Zone residential, and they're not going to like that very much, but they'll thank me later. This will act as a buffer for our uh, industrial zone. Because we definitely want that. And these little roads here will be getting a lot of traffic uh, in the coming months. So they will be nice and happy with all their customers and clientele. Let's just zoom that up real quick. Uh, speed it up real quick and let them kind of build their houses on the hill. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Tiny town. That's still bugged out. I don't know why that's bugged out. But we have a lot of new policies now. We have a uh, pet ban, which we will not do. We're not evil dictators. Uh, smoking ban. You can ban smoking. Parks and recreation. Schools out. You can make them not go to school and all become uh, factory workers. Premium studio. Uh, allows bands to practice and record albums. Even more fun amusement park buildings. It's just a lot of stuff that we've we've gotten here. We can improve the safety of our factories with advanced automation. Improve logistics will decrease traffic, but it also increases the uh, the cost of upkeep for all of those buildings. And we have improved work safety supervision, which will be better health for workers, so they're not dying all the time. Here's the part I'm excited about. We've unlocked a lot of new roads. We've got some four-lane roads. We've got some three-lane one-way roads, some four-lane one-way roads. We've got some industry roads, which we put in the industry eventually. We have some canals, some quays, some flood walls. Is that how you say it? Is that a quay or a K? I don't know. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, park fences, nature reserve fences. We can start... Getting into industries, oil, ore, that sort of thing. That's going to generate a lot of traffic, but it's also going to bring us a ton of money. I got into the oil industry in one of my previous cities and made so much money. But you can see, we have just a lot of new things to play with. It's a very exciting milestone to reach just there. Have a drink of water real quick. I'll let these guys kind of build their, build their city out. Have a look. Oh. Let me, before I take a drink, let's make sure this guy gets a drink. He's thirsty. Beautiful. Boom. Play. Have a nice drink here. Now. And I am going to say, if you ever miss one of these streams and you are invested in uh, in New Brighton, I will be editing down the VODs and putting them on YouTube. And uh, I, I hope to start a series there. So I'll put them all in a playlist for New Brighton. The first one, which is this one, should be up in a couple of days. Uh, I've got to go to work tomorrow and I've got a lot to do. So uh, hopefully I can get it edited and put up on the YouTube channel here in a couple days. Um, and then we'll start that start that kind of series, and I think it'll be nice. I think it's just about time. I mean, we're getting up, we're getting up pretty high in population. Traffic's gonna start becoming an issue soon, so I think it's time we get some one-way roads put through here. And we have the money for it. We're making quite a bit of money right now, so I think that we take uh, Pennywise's idea and get rid of this roundabout, the the oddly phallic-shaped roundabout just like this and we do something a little better here so I think what I want to do is take a three lane one way road on this side and a three lane one way on this side just like such here let's just let's just do it I think we'll do this so three lane one way and same here and we'll go back and make these all go the right direction Oh, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Other direction, please. Back towards the highway. This should help traffic flow significantly in the city. Now, I also want to take out these intersections and re-space them out because too many intersections on one part of the road can actually cause a lot of uh, a lot of traffic. So these guys here are already too close, so I want to remove them gonna make these guys happy in the houses over here we'll actually zone this as commercial and that's already zoned as residential and we will remove this one as well 
and this one, and this one, because there's intersections on both sides. Let's go through and rezone, make sure everything's zoned as it should be. We're gonna get rid of you. Sorry. And plop you in. Perfect. Uh, gotta love it, right? It's a nice building, though. I should have kept that. I really like the aesthetic of that building. So with our three lane roads in place, we will now connect them straight from the highway. Just like that. So this is essentially now a, a rural sort of rural sort of interchange straight from the highway. It's, it's as if the highway is running straight through the city. And here, let's delete this intersection as well, uh, just for traffic management privileges or purposes. Let's get this all zoned up to commercial. Let's get this all zoned up to residential. And that looks good to me for now. Let's go ahead and plop down some two-way roads. Uh, that is a four-lane road. I just want a little two-lane. We'll do it with sidewalks. We like sidewalks here. We're all about walkability. And we'll just kind of plop these across wherever they're necessary. Upgrade that one there. And this will be the beginning of, of our upgraded infrastructure and, and road network. So that's always a always an amazing step for a city when they're able to upgrade their infrastructure to handle more traffic. Now this here looks like a main road. This, this bad boy here looks like it can hold a lot of traffic. So we essentially have a six lane road down the middle here. And what we can do now, this is, this is essentially an arterial uh, that's coming off of our highway. And this one is backwards, so we need to fix that. This is essentially an arterial that's coming off of our highway, so the next thing we want to do is kind of put some collectors around. So I think this should be a collector, and this should be a collector. And perhaps this should be a collector as well. And then these are all local roads within. Uh, I can do bridges. Yes, yes. Do you want me to kind of do some bridges? Or should we save that for uh, for later on? Because the bridges are a little more expensive. And I don't feel that we quite need to do that just yet uh, for, for such a small city. Because we are still quite small. What I am going to do, though, is get this, uh, this is sort of going to be our collector here. And we are going to have to destroy some homes. And I think, I think it's what we call an acceptable casualty. Oh, I, I just can't upgrade these. Uh, I guess I'll have to go and, and sort of bulldoze these homes personally, which, you know. Yeah. Oh, because there's fire departments and schools. Oh no, I feel like a politician. This is not good. I'm destroying people's homes, their livelihoods. I'm destroying fire departments. I'm destroying schools. I'm destroying... Oh. Oh no. The first turn of the, this here? This this sort of main road here? Nerdist! Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, Pennywise, are, are you talking about this turn here? This, this kind of first thing? We'd have a bridge going over the main road here to connect the residential to the yeah, I think that's actually a really good idea. Um, if we just pop that out of there, yeah, that'd be a great idea. That way our residential people trying to get to work can go straight over this road here like such. Good good idea. Good idea. I like that one a lot. We're going to do a basic two-lane road, and we will, we will plop up a bridge here. That is a big-ass bridge. This works a lot better. Here we go. Just like that. There we go. Now we have a nice little bridge connecting these two sides. And, of course, we will upgrade these roads later on. But we're just not quite there yet. Back to the destruction of family homes and families in general. There we go. And now they can rebuild. So it's, it wouldn't, it didn't hurt them too, too bad. You know, they, they can still rebuild. It's, it's going to be okay. But yeah, Pennywise, I think that looks great, man. Uh, I mean, this guy, he's got a terrible view now. And this car, he's, he's just lost. Where the fuck did he go? Where'd he go? The car's gone. The car doesn't exist anymore. But that's fine. And, and I really like this bridge right here. It's going to allow people to get straight from the industrial back to their homes. And it's going to free up traffic for this sort of area here where they turn to get back onto the freeway. Now, I don't think... I don't believe that I can actually upgrade. Oh, perfect. I can upgrade that. That's even better. 
so. Now we have a collector going straight through. I'm also going to delete these roads. I'm never afraid to just go crazy and delete everything that I've done uh, in order to make a nice little, little city. There we go. Now this collector has a ton of intersections on it, but that is just fine by me. Uh, it's not a problem at all. It's going to have a ton of traffic on it, but at least our arterial will not. <laughs> so, I'm going to have a drink of water real quick. Just enjoy the time lapse of these guys building their little houses back up that I've just destroyed. And then we'll have to botch down some fire departments and schools and stuff that we also took out. Alright, let's start with the uh, hospital. Because we did delete the only hospital in the city. And like I said, so notice there's a median here. I'll just... A little teaching moment here. Notice there's a median on this road right here, on Raymond Street. We'll rename that later. I don't like Raymond Street. But there's a median right there, and this is a one-way. This is a two-lane road, and this will eventually be upgraded to a nice little two-lane road like this here. What we want to do is actually have the entrance of our building facing this road. The reason for that being is they can go this way, or they can go this way, and then they can then come to this intersection, take a left straight out of here, take a right straight out of here, and same here. They can go wherever they need to go, and then they have their little flashing lights so they can get right through those red lights, and it's not going to be a problem for them. So we will do just that, and we'll put our police station. We'll, we'll kind of have a little public safety campus here. So police station, that pretty much covers the entire city. We'll have a little medical center. And like I said, we want them to face this road here. And that'll pretty much cover the entire city. And then we will have our fire department. It's a lot smaller. Uh, and we'll have it kind of over here next to that house. So this house is arguably the safest in the city. Because it is surrounded by a fire department, a hospital, and a uh, police department. So he's, he's having a grand time. But this right here. You can see they can all, like the ambulances and the, the hearses and all of that can get straight out onto this road and then go wherever they need to in the city from this central location. Can I do trees and signs? I can do trees. I'm not sure about signs. I don't have, like, um... Yeah, I can do trees. Uh, you want me to do trees down the middle here? Because I think I know where you're going with that, and I agree. That would look great. If not, just correct me. And, and what type of trees would you like to see? Because we've got all kinds. We've got, like, giant pine trees. We've got palm trees, if you want a more Florida look. And, uh, we've got uh, little, little trees, big trees, medium-sized trees. Thick oaks would look good. Hey, thank you for the first time chat, Nerdist. I I, uh, I see that there. Uh, which which ones are oaks? See, I'm not I'm not a tree biologist. Uh, looking for oaks here. These these guys right here. I can just kind of dot these down. These are oaks, right? Uh, yes, these are oaks. Perfect. Um, I can look for a bigger oak. Uh, I'm not certain. Perhaps there's one in here. One to the left. This guy here. An alder. Is that good? This one here? Uh, alright, man. Put them dead center like that. Oh, they are varying sizes. That's nice. I like that. So I should have got the uh, tree line tool. <laughs> yeah, I guess they have different varying uh, varying sizes. I did not realize that myself. But I'm assuming they kind of grow eventually. I have no idea. Oh yeah, that looks great, man. This is why I love it when chat interacts. I love it when you guys interact and, and give me ideas for the city. Because, arguably, they look a lot better than, than than any of my ideas for the city. Like, I would not have thought of this until way later if I thought of it at all. And it's so cheap, too. They're only ten apiece. And we'll come right the way through here. All the way to the boundary of our, our little map. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. 
Does it bring in birds? I had no idea. Yeah, that's beautiful. And, you know, I think for the next one, I'll go ahead and get a couple other mods. Prop line tool would be great for that there. Uh, is this zoned? It is. Why is it? Oh, because I'm paused. Duh. Let's kind of speed through this, let it grow a little bit. You guys have any more ideas for uh, some decorations for the, the city as it stands? I'm liking these trees a lot, man. I really do. I love them. They really do. They they add a they add a nice vibe to the uh like when you first come into the city. That's a beautiful beautiful view. In a park of some kind. I can create a uh I can create an actual park here. I've got so I have the DLC that allows me to create parks of my own and I think with our last little upgrade we did. We did just unlock parks. So I have the Park Life DLC. There's a few more things that we're going to kind of need. Um, what am I going to need to do to unlock this? Oh, create a park area. And then I will have all that unlocked. So, where should we put the park? Uh, I'm thinking we can either build a residential area around the park. We're going to need to soon anyway. Or we can kind of hollow out part of the residential area and then put a park there. But I'm thinking perhaps we just plan ahead for a bit of a park. Uh, maybe we'll do like right here. And then leave that. And this will be this will be a park. And then we'll have houses. Yes, exactly. We'll have houses all the way around. And it's gonna fuck with our grid a little bit, but that's that's just fine. That's part of it, man. We want it to be somewhat unique, you know? You don't want everything to be just a perfect little grid, even though that's still what I'm doing. I'm still doing a perfect grid. I just can't get away from it, man. Might put a small one in the old one to test out some ideas and then build a large one in the center of the new area. So let's let's do that then. So I think we have a lot of residential here that is completely undeveloped and we have no, no plans for any of this land here. So I think we hollow this out and these guys, they have plenty of room to move to new places so we're not really losing much. And that guy too. And then I'll just kind of get rid of their livelihoods. It's not a big deal. They had it coming. We'll call a mulligan on that and we will build a nice little park here so let me actually cordon off this area and get rid of this intersection we've got about twenty thousand dollars to work with for our small park here and we have a much larger park over here that we can play with later after we test out some ideas so let's get into it where is my park life dlc right in here what do I need to build first? I need to build a park zone. So I'm assuming zone. That's industry. That's specializations. That's a pedestrian area. Park area right here. Oh, that is a large. Perfect. There we go. We'll paint a nice little park area right here. Fairview grounds, whatever we'll call it. Uh, we'll call it that for now. And I believe we need to add in a little park building for this to be thing. I believe it's this one, Park Main Gate. Yes, perfect. We'll put this on Finch Road here. Finch Road is about to be very busy. Perfect. We now have an operational park. It's a small one. It's a small park, but it it will be. That is so off center. Can I move that? Oh, that's going to bug the fuck out of me. Hold on. There we go. That looks a little better. I feel like it's still a little off-center. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope. We're perfect. Golden. So what are we thinking for the park? What are we thinking for the park?
want tree paths or we want to add our own. I'm thinking we do like swirly paths. I don't want to do anything perfectly straight in this park. I want it to kind of flow around with nature, you know, that kind of thing. Man, residents of New Brighton, get ready. You're about to have an amazing park on your hands. Let me go ahead and fence it off. Keep the kids from, you know, going in there and creating mischief. Do swirly paths? I agree, I agree. I think swirly paths are the way to go. I just don't understand why this fence... Oh, is that road not perfectly straight? Oh, that's frustrating. Maybe if I do it, like, one at a time. Oh, come on. Come on. Can I curve it? What if I, like, very, very slightly curve it? Come on. Okay, that is... That's bad. That's horrendously bad. I don't like that. Maybe I... I don't know. Straight lines, please. Straight lines. There we go. Nice straight lines. Perfect. There we go. We made it in the end. We made it in the end. A little bumpy, but that's all right. So, what all can we do inside of a park? I don't know. I haven't built one yet. I've, I've kind of played a couple times with it, but I, I often... Uh, forget that I have this DLC. Just kind of... Why is it connecting to the sidewalk? Oh god, these are not the curves I want. I want the freeform tool, baby. Just kind of freeform and flow on around. Get a nice little... path. Come on. Oh, that's too close to the fence, I see. Come on. Okay, we will kind of back this up a little. Yeah, I, I like After Dark as well. Um, it, it is a learning curve when you get like the new uh, DLCs because they, they typically add a ton. I will give it to Paradox. As much as they charge and as, as, as stupid as some of the DLCs are, they do add a lot, a lot into them. Oh yeah, uh, I love this game, man. You can do you can do bridges, tunnels, all kinds of stuff. Just the traffic network alone is enough for me to buy it. You can do park side gate. Will that connect automatically? No, I'll have to connect that myself. So no, I don't want it. Uh, park plaza. I appear to have left. No room. No room with all of my path. I don't want to see these park areas. Why can I not just ignore them? Perfect. Okay, let me let me readjust my path just a little. Um, I've left no room for anything with my weird, wavy, swirly path. Let's try this again. Uh, where was it now? It was in here, park. Park, 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 park. Here we go. And then we'll just kind of bring it around. Uh, and this time we won't connect it. We'll just leave it like that. Nice little swirl. And that should give us room to actually uh, place some of these park decorations and stuff like that. We already have a park gate. Uh, we definitely want some restrooms. We want these people to be able to, to go to the restroom when they're in the park. What are these here? This is an info booth. We'll kind of put this over here by the restrooms. That way it's, you know, it's right there. You can see what's up, see what's going on. A uh, little cafe. I don't know. This, this doesn't feel like very much park stuff right now. It feels like a lot of uh, money-making tools. I don't go to parks just for the cafe, man. I go to parks to experience nature and get out of my house for once. 
Um, a lot of this stuff is still locked. Okay, so I need to upgrade the, the level of my park area. Let's now go in and put a few decorations. I like trees. I like boulders. I think I got both. Yeah, I got boulders. We'll put a giant boulder in the in the park. Like a rock formation right here. Oh, that's a massive fucking mar rock formation. Holy shit. Where's the swings? I don't know if there are any. Let's have a look. I bet you'd be under small buildings. Park uh, main gate. Park plaza. Park cafe. Park restrooms. Yeah, no, no swings. No swings, unfortunately. Not in there anyway. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any swings. This is a piss poor park, I, if I do say so myself. Oh, there's park benches. Yeah, we want some park benches. Let's put some park benches in here. That's a solid possibility, man. That's a very, very strong possibility that I'll have to unlock some... Uh... Hey, I want to rotate you. Perfect. Park bench. Look at that. Little park bench. What is this? Uh, it's a park sign. Welcome to Piss Poor Park. You know what? I'm actually going to change the name of this park. It's going to be great. Piss Poor Park. Let's capitalize park. This is proper. This is proper. We love it. You got to love it, right? So Piss Poor Park has a nice little sign here. Got uh, lampposts. We can do like little little street lights by the entrance. All nice and pretty like that. Uh, looks like we've already got some street lights on the side of the road, but we can come over here and add a couple more. Uh, picnic table. We'll do a picnic table out at the end here. And this nice little uh, sidewalk portion, we'll put some picnic tables. That actually looks quite nice. That looks almost as if it was meant to be there. Do a, a chess table out in the grass, because if you play chess, you belong in the grass. Some tiles. Oh, man. I don't know what these are all about. I guess we could put them under, like, uh, under the tables. But I kind of like the way the cement is there already. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do the tiles or the cement? Just let me know. I'm going to throw some waste baskets down over here because they're definitely going to need them. Do one over here and one over here. I agree. I agree. I like the cement. I, I do like the look of the cement. And we'll do we'll do a couple trash bins. I believe this one's recycle. No, that's that's literally just a secondary trash bin. I don't know why I put it there. There we go. Put some trash bins down. That one, I don't like where he is. I think one is fine. I think that's a perfectly acceptable walking distance. Some flower beds. Oh, that's a big-ass flower bed. Holy crap. Um, where should these go? Like, should these even go? I feel like it's getting too cluttered. Where should these go? I like these hedges. But they're not... I can't, like, conform them to the road. Or I would do, like, a little little path of hedges. I could do a hedge maze. A hedge maze right here. I don't think anybody would ever use it. But The edge by the fences. Around the car park. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. I'll try and get a good mix. Are they all roughly the same size, I hope? Hold on. Let's, let's just have a little test here. Okay, they all appear to be roughly the same size if I do, like, those. So you think the little ones are the big ones by the car park and then by the edge of the fences or, or however we want to do it here. Probably the little ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be good. Uh, I'm going to try and do a good mix uh, a good mix of both varieties here. We have some orange ones and some red ones. I'm going to get them as close as possible. Should I alternate them instead? Yeah, it is getting a little cluttered, but it's okay. We learn. We learn. 
kind of match them up here. Red, orange, red, orange. Yeah, I think that would look better. Instead of having the clusters, I think it would look better if we alternated them like that. We can definitely do that. Oh, there's a little flower bed there. I didn't even put that one there. We'll start with red. Down here in the corner. Do it right almost on that fence line like that. And we'll go orange. Beautiful. And then we'll do our... our well, I guess... This one's kind of orangey, isn't it? And the other one's pretty red. And then we'll do this one here. Just like that. Uh, that is a little off, and it is going to drive me up the wall. So let me see if I can fix that. Boom. Pixel perfect, almost. And then we'll kind of finish it off with one more. And we'll start at the back here again like this. Nice little flower beds around the car park here. Honestly, it's looking pretty good. I like it. Almost feels like something you would see in real life at a park. Some flower beds around the entrance like that. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. You have yellow ones now. Where the fuck did I get yellow ones? Oh, I guess they just kind of do their own thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still pretty cool. Yeah, I don't um, I don't have any like super big parks that, that have any attractions or anything uh, near my house. Uh, the, the, the park that I have near me is just a big open plot of land on a lake. So they kind of called it a park. It's, it's just somebody's land on a lake. I like that too, man. I like that too. It looks good. Looks good. And I think I'll dot some trees in here because the park near me has a lot of trees. I'll do like a boulder. Uh, I'll do like a boulder right here. This, this this park was built around this boulder. That's the whole reason this park is here. And then we'll dot in some trees. Little flower trees, maybe? I'm not sure how I feel about all these flower trees, honestly. I feel like it, we should stick with the more natural, sort of like oak, pine tree type deal. Personally. Alder... What, which one did we do for the road here? Which one was this? Do you remember? I don't remember. I'm kind of scrolling through chat. Yeah, I, I do not remember which one that was. Um, what are these, you think? Not that for sure. Kind of spread out some trees here. Different varieties, different types. That is really small. Yeah, the oaks are just tiny, man. What's this? A bamboo tree group? I don't think bamboo would be in a natural park, but we'll do a tree with leaves. What about, uh, add the trees around the fence? Like, whereabouts? Like here? On the outside? Inside? Oh, we can put a redwood in here. We can do, like, little trees on the outside, I reckon. Maybe some bushes. Some small bushes. Ooh, maybe. It's going to be cutting it close. Uh, between that road and, and that fence is tight to kind of fit stuff in. I don't know if I can fit a whole tree in there. Oh, yeah. They can do a little tree. Is that what you're thinking, or am I completely off the ball here? see oh yeah let me let me get that in shot for you actually see see what see what you're uh looking at take a drink of water here like that Alrighty, i think we can do that uh i'm just hoping that i really wish that they would give me like an option to to have it just select different trees
We'll do some small trees here. Uh, green tree. Tree leaves. I think we'll stick with like an oak. Oak trees look good. Oh, and they do come in different sizes. Oh, that one's big. Big old oak tree there. I'm gonna try and line them up with like every fence post or every second fence post. Kinda. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, she does not want to go there. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yep, right there. Oh no, where'd it go? I should have I should have got a tree anarchy as well. Right there. Okay, we're just gonna skip that one, go on to the next one. I just keep clicking, it'll eventually place a tree. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Come on, find me a tree. Maybe we'll do this one. It's a little smaller. Has a better chance of being found. Uh, come on. Come on. Okay, this side of the road is gonna be very difficult to put trees on, but we can definitely do, we can definitely do in here. Uh, is this an oak? Yes. We can definitely do this road here. Uh, at least on the front side of the building. Let's put some trees. I don't know if they grow over time or what's the deal with that. But you gotta love trees, man. Gotta love them. Come on. A lot of trees on this back side. Do sparser trees on the sides where people will drive a lot. Come on, there we go. And then we'll put some uh, green trees, just in general, in here. Gotta love trees, right? Just I'm just kinda randomly, randomly putting them down inside the park. And then I'll go through and like delete some that are too close to others and just kinda that way we'll get a nice, somewhat even distribution of trees. Let's throw some random oaks in here as well. Got a lot of oaks on this side. I feel like these don't match, man. They're just too high. Put some little, uh, little trees around here. Around the giant rock. I mean, that looks like a, uh, a park full of trees there. A circle pond? Actually, as a matter of fact, I think I can. Um, if I do, like, a medium canal... Oh, that's way too big. That's also way too fucking big. Hold on. Wide shallow canal? No, I just want, like, a little... I think there's a way for me to do a pond. But I have to make it myself. I was unaware that these were things that I could do. That's kind of cool. Um, just do a landscape and fill it with water? Yes, 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 yes. Good idea. Where is my landscaping tools? I've got to be close to them. Right here, right here. We'll do, where do we want the pond at? I'm going to have to remove some trees to get there, but where do we want it at? Kind of like, uh, over here, maybe by the entrance here. This looks like a good area for it. There's a lot of room here. here I'm going to get rid of some of these trees and uh, get a pond going. Like right here, this looks good. Perfect. Now, how do I add water? Ah, uh, you know what? I can do this. Uh, a clean water outlet. Just a, just a regular old clean... Come on, I've got to have it. Right here, right here. Fresh water outlet. I'm going to have to fill it with water like this. But once I fill it, it should stay. 
Uh, it might evaporate later, but that's not it's not an issue that we're going to deal with right now. Worst comes to worst, we'll leave this thing here and just cover it with trees so nobody can tell. Not operating. Do we not have any excess water? We've got to have excess water. Okay, let me go... Oh, we're paused. That makes sense. Come on, give me some water. This this could rapidly flood if I if I don't shut it off fast enough. Come on. Level three. Yeah, I know you got Okay, okay, okay. That's enough water. That's enough water. <laughs> okay, that's enough of you. You've had enough fun. There we go. We got a pond. Oh, there's some floodage. There's a small amount of floodage. Oh, no. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. I dumped way more water than I thought. But we now have a little pond. We'll add some more trees to stop the floodage. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's natural. It's natural. The floodage happens. Oh, yeah. It's pretty intense. But it's fine. It's fine. I can drop the landscape just a little bit more. Make some more room for the water. It's not a big deal. There we go. Now the water should all flow nice and within the, the pond. Which is now quite deep. But if I... Oh. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice, deep, very dry, drought-infested pond. It's beautiful. Jesus, that could not have gone worse. <laughs> Let me add some little trees around here. Some happy little trees. Happy little trees around the pond. Too steep of a slope to add a tree. Oh yeah, it definitely could have gone worse. Uh, I mean, it, it, it could always go worse. Now, had I not deleted that thing and I just left... Yeah, this whole entire residential area here would be underwater, essentially. But, we have now added our park. Uh, you guys think that's good for, for where it is? Oh, little police car is responding. Where are you going, buddy? You're going here to the foggy residence. Wonder what kind of a... Uh, what kind of... Oh, a crime scene. Oh, man. But yeah, I think that's a, that's a beautiful little park, man. I think it's amazing. And I think this is a good place to uh, use extra landscaping. Uh, is that a mod? I'll have to look into that mod. Uh, I'll definitely have to grab it. Is it on the workshop? But yeah. Um, I think that that is not only a wonderful place to... To go and have a good day. I think this is a wonderful place to end the stream, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not going to do any more work on this until tomorrow night. And tomorrow night I'll be live at around the same time. And we're going to do it for around the same amount of time. And we're going to come back to New Brighton, and we are going to do some amazing things. We're going to get... I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we get the rest of the roadway system upgraded, but we'll see where it takes us, man. I appreciate everybody for tuning in, and I appreciate you all for helping me build this city. This was honestly one of the coolest streams I've had in a long time. So I hope to see you all again tomorrow, again, right around the same time. And uh, maybe we can build this city out a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah. I look forward to seeing you again, man. I, I, I'm really, really excited for it. So y'all have a good night. I'm out. I got work bright and early, 4 a.m. So we will see you guys tomorrow at 6.30.